Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm reviewing Sony's second generation smartwatch. Now, with Samsung officially jumping into the smartphone game by unveiling the Galaxy Year and a rumored Apple iWatch in the works, the Sony Smartwatch 2 will likely enter a pitch sales battle when it hits the market in September. Sony's updated timepiece will also be challenged by wearable tech upstarts like Pebble and Hotwatch. Now, as far as design on the new smartwatch, Sony decided to go for the luxurious look of metal. The smartwatch 2 is made of aluminum, unlike the plastic pebble, which gives it a nice premium feel. Like the original smartwatch, the smartwatch 2 features a 1.6 inch touchscreen display, but unlike its predecessor's OLED screen, the smartwatch 2 uses a translective LCD panel instead. In terms of screen resolution, the watch is 220 by 176 pixels, which is less than the Galaxy Year, but you know, it's not too bad nonetheless. The less. Another key improvement in the smartwatch too is its water resistant properties, meaning it's protected against accidental spills and splashes, however you still can't go swimming with this watch. Instead of the custom charging port used by the first smartwatch, the smartwatch 2 comes with a standard micro USB port which makes it a lot easier to charge the watch. Now when the Sony smartwatch first launched, it was expensive at $129.99, costing almost as much as a powerful smartphone. For example, this smartwatch you can install multiple apps yourself to enable basic features such as notifications from calls or messages, but it's still not as capable as a smartphone. Worst of all, the lack of a Bluetooth connection between the watch and the phone resulted in the original smartwatch often resetting its internal clock. That's right, the watch would default back to 12 o'clock in blinking lights. To be fair, Sony took steps to shore up the smartwatch's issues through software updates, but still, it was a long way from an elegant user experience. However, with the smartwatch 2, just about all these issues are addressed. Specifically, the smartwatch 2 has a built-in near-field communication capabilities which lets you pair with compatible handsets via Bluetooth simply by tapping them together. Also, after a proper phone watch link occurs, your Android handset will prompt you to download Sony's smartwatch app. From there, you'll be able to select the various apps you'd like to use. Previously, you would pair devices manually, then search for and install everything separately, which is kind of a real pain. That said, Sony has made the smartwatch 2 compatible with apps from the first smartwatch, so it can run apps such as Runtastic, Twitter, and Facebook. Surprisingly, this new device runs on Bluetooth 3.0 rather than the latest Bluetooth version though. Lastly, the smartwatch works with almost any Android handset but not iOS as well, which the Pebble can tackle. The Galaxy Gear, however, is locked down to just operating with the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3, so maybe this isn't a big deal. Now, due out in September sometime this year, the smartwatch 2 looks set to tap into the growing interest in wearable tech. The trouble is, with heavy hitters like Samsung and maybe even Apple poised to enter this market, this space is about to get very crowded. That's especially true of a product category which consumers may not even be interested in. Other wildcards like the Pebble with its small but fanatic user base and the uniquely capable hot watch that boasts wild gesture controls could tempt buyers away from Sony as well. Let me know what you think of the new Sony Smartwatch 2 in the comments below and thanks for watching this video.